What's up, YouTube? Once again, back with another one. All right. So this video here, I will uh, go ahead and try to explain the strategy, or should I say, just a psychology way of thinking. There are no indicators that will always line up and say, okay, every time this indicator crosses here and this indicator uh, is in the overbought condition, that's when you uh, place a put option or a call option, whatever the case, and it will always win. It just doesn't happen. Uh, what I do is um, I'm pretty much somewhat used to how the charts move. I spent a lot of time in a demo account working on what I'm doing. So hopefully I can give you the tools that um, <clears throat> I use and then you can practice with those. Uh, reference back to this video, reference back to uh, my previous videos and future videos to see how I trade and also uh, kind of make it your own. Um, a little nervous about this video mainly because this will either make people money or have people lose money. Uh, like I say, there is no, there is no surefire, you know, type way to tell you, okay, when this happens, do this. When this happens, do this. You pretty much just have to uh, make 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 your own choices. You know, basically, um, just get used to how the charts move, how the candles move. I trade each candle individually, practically. So let's just um, get to the setup. We're at one screen right now. Uh, the markets I trade, I normally do stocks. And I do the OTC market. Uh, I don't do, um, you know, actual live currency pairs. Only because OTC pays out more. You see here, I mean, 88% is not bad. 87 whatever, but 92% is where it's at. And OTC is always available. But uh, I normally stick to the stocks. And also... You know, uh, currency pairs. Uh, I don't do commodities at all, and that is for tax purposes. I may talk about that later on or in another video, but um, you know, I'm trying to be like Donald Trump, I'm not trying to pay no taxes, so yeah. So let's get to it. Um, let's uh, use candles one minute time frame okay uh for those of you that um you know are not used to using this at all you know i have um the timer on which lets me know how, how much time is left in the candle useful for me i enable the auto scroll that way i mean even though i still move the screen myself in case i don't it'll, it'll scroll for me all right, so let's go to our indicators. I like to use the uh, stochastic oscillator. So basically, just come here, go to stochastic oscillator. That will open that up down here. The default settings are 14, three and three. I change mine to six, oops, three and three. I leave it on SMA. You have different options here. Do your research if you want to know more about them. I use SMA, save it. Um, you can also, you know, thicken the lines, which most people do. I do as well. I put this at. 90 and 10. And let's see. I just like this color set up more. But you know, it is what it is. You can um, set it up to whatever you would like. Make the lines a little thicker, makes it easier to see. Did I say that? Yeah. So, for whoever's, okay, let's, uh, well, we can stay 
at this screen size for now. Screen size is down here. Um, let's just talk a little bit about the stochastic oscillators. I mean, however the charts move, this just reflects it pretty much. But let's find something else here. Yeah. But basically, um, if it's in the overbought condition up here, where it says 90, it's very likely that it'll come back down. Okay, and, and and vice versa. If it's in the uh, oversold condition here, which is the 10, it's very likely to start coming back up. Um, you want a chart that is pretty consistent with going down and coming up. Uh, when I trade, the type of candles I look for are the longer candles. Let me go ahead and go to uh, screen size M20. So that's 30. Let me just, uh, oh. change it to 20. All right. I just like the screen size better. Works for me. Now, let me set up my second screen. I like them side by side. It's already got stuff open. All right. So basically, I leave it on the line chart and I I'll just do it over uh come here and open up the uh stochastic oscillator. Six, three, and three. Now, pretty much make the styles the same. Make it red, thicken the lines. Again, 90 and 10. All right. So, if you paid attention earlier, you could see that I had another indicator there, a super trend. And I pretty much had that there when I was going over what I do. Uh, I kind of went into the demo, which I'm in now. And kind of practiced what I do, only so I could try to explain it better. And um, I realized it's kind of hard to explain what I do, only because it's more on instinct. Okay, so let's look at this chart here. The stochastic oscillator here looks like it's trying to cross. Uh, could be wrong. So I'm really just trying to see what kind of candle we're going to get here. We're going to get a red candle if it's going to keep coming down. Or if it's, you know, coming back up. Okay. Okay, that doesn't matter for now. It's actually a decent candle. See, I'm looking for candles that push like this. Uh, let me change this here. to. So you do want to make sure you're looking at the same chart on both sides. The reason... So the line chart, I have it on M4, and you know, you can just put it to M10 and zoom in till you're at M4. The reason I use the line chart here is because the stochastic oscillators move faster, okay? Uh, you see them here and here. Uh, why is this M10? I mean M9. I like it at 20. Okay. So, like I was saying, I like how the stochastic oscillator moves moves here. It, it, it allows me to um, time my entries in the candle better. So, if I'm suspecting the candle to be green, I pretty much wait for it to come back down. And then, it'll come back up. Okay, that's not, 
that's not a good explanation. Basically, the stochastic oscillator will start coming back down and it will get some resistance here in the candle, maybe push back a little bit. And when the stochastic oscillator pushes back up, I'll do a, um, a buy trade and, and catch it coming back up. Now, that's one of the things I do. Like here, it's coming down. It just came back up right now. Like it, it, That doesn't mean it'll come all the way down, but I pretty much just wait for it to reverse and then catch it on the way up. Now, again, the candles, when they're at the end of the candle, I don't get in. All right, this is a good candle to get here. Let me just go up. There you go. But, um, oh, we got spiked out. Yeah, got us. I got it late because I'm talking, but, um, which brings me to my next indicator to help you guys out a little bit. We're going to use the super trend and we're going to leave it. Come on. We are going to leave it on the default settings, 10 and three, I believe. All right. So this is super trend. Let's look at the settings. Yeah. 10 and three. That's good enough. <clears throat> so what we're looking for is these nice long candles. Okay. So we're going to switch between charts because sometimes a chart will move this way and then um, it'll start consolidating or whatever and, and, and give you some funky looking candles. So as you saw here, you can rewind this once, once the stochastics push up here to the overbought, the higher symbol from the super trend showed up <clears throat> from my experience on these kind of candles. When the stochastics push up, they'll pretty much stay up there for a little bit more. So once it pushes up and the super trend indicator shows up, you can go ahead and put a buy option, right? Because what it'll do, is it'll push up, come down a little bit, and then keep pushing up. So I'm not going to do it in the opposite direction. You see it went lower here, and it gave us a lower, which would normally call for a, a, a put option or a sale. I didn't do that because the candle was still going up. Like I said, I like going with the flow. Like here, I would hit it. You see what I mean? I knew I saw it's going to be a big red candle. And so it pushed down. And once it hit the oversold, the uh, indicator for the super trend went lower. That That is when I put, uh, I hit lower around like right here I hit lower it bounced up a little bit and came back down again you can like I said you can rewind the video and, and see that so now when I have these kind of candles I pretty much trade the same candle like once or twice you can see in the stochastics like like for, for example when that big red candle well it's, it's retracting now which is why I tell you I don't like going in at the end of the candle but you could see it was pushing and the stochastics was just showing you a nice smooth pattern. And and I would normally hit it like when the stochastics overbought and it's coming down, you can hit it about midway and, and you know, win a trade that way. And then again, when it gets overbought, I mean, yeah, over oversold, you can hit it again. So I'm missing entries because I'm trying to explain here. But it's no big deal because I'm not trading real money right now. I'm really just trying to explain what I'm doing. So the reason I have this open is because if I'm not looking here, I can't really tell what kind of candles we're dealing with here. You know, yeah, you can see long lines, but you can't really tell. I, I like to see visually how big these candles are and how the chart's moving. Um, you want it to be real consistent. You want it to, if it's pushing in one direction, when it retracts, you want it to retract, retract a little bit. You don't want it to be bouncing up and down like this one let's see let's see what it does see it's it's going up but it's not going up like with any uh there we go okay we missed that one 
Barely. Looks like it. We were going to uh, get that back, but you see how it bounced back and comes back up. It's gonna do it again. Bounce back and come up. And that's pretty much how I get in. See that? But that only works on these charts that have the longer candles, and it it changes. So you have to realize when it switches up. When it switches up on you. Um, you know, stop trading that chart or just, uh, you know, I normally watch Netflix or whatever the case may be while I'm trading. That way I'm not getting too bored. Like I catch a good moment. I'm okay. This chart's moving nicely. Let me, let me pay attention and get in here. Let me watch this. It's going to bounce back. I'm going to hit it again. It's going to come up. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Didn't hit that one, but like I say, it's not a hundred percent. But that's what I'm gonna keep doing, you know. So the main thing is to basically, um, how shall I put it? You have to know what you're looking at, know what you're doing. When you win a trade, know why you want it. I I win trades, and I realized that I just got lucky on them. You know, I lose trades knowing like oh, I should have won that. It just didn't. You know, I just got unlucky. It just didn't move right, you know, but um, I understand what's going on. Don't just push buttons not realizing what you're actually doing. So, let's see. Let me try to get into a few more trades and um, kind of explain what I'm doing. So, I feel like this candle is going to keep pushing up. And I could be wrong. Let me wait. So uh, right now I'm looking at this candle and the stochastics like it's the stochastics moving up, but this candle's not really moving up that strong. So when the stochastic come down, I'll probably trade it going downwards like here. You see the stochastic started moving down and it moved, moved down here. Okay. We actually lost that. So how should I put it? I was wrong, but right. We almost had it. But that's how you can use the stochastics on the side, basically as an indicator of how the, how the candle is going to move. So we were good. It just came up. Like, like I said, my entries are not good right now. I'm not going to reshoot this video and uh, try to sugarcoat what actually happens. But, uh, you know, if I'm not talking and I'm focusing like here, I should have I should have hit it. You know, actually, the charts moving kind of funny now so I'm glad I wasn't in it you see how it's just uh, reversing real fast that's not what you want it's moving too fast and now if I would have traded lower it probably gonna jump up on me here yeah you see. yeah maybe not all right let's hit it All right, we won that one, but it was a real close one. Does any of this make sense? I mean, I've never taught anyone what I'm doing here. Just trying to kind of explain what I'm thinking and doing. Again, I saw the chart push up. See, it almost spiked out on me. Uh, I saw the chart push up. I waited for it to retract a little and then I hit it up again. It bounced back a little. Now come back up. It didn't come all the way back up for us, but we broke even. Now, like I say, I'm 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 talking and, and trading at the same time and I'm just uh reacting slowly. But basically just practice this in a demo and you know you'll realize it'll work out for you. But remember, you want to do these long candles. Like right now, I'm not getting in it because it's the end of the candle. You can see it counting down here. A lot of times at the end of the candle, you can go the opposite direction and hit it. But so real quick, I feel like it's going to keep going up. But the stochastics came down. So I would have hit it coming back up. Like, see, I would have been in profit because it did grow. So it came down here. 
and the uh, super trend said lower but like I said it's a green candle so I'm pretty much just gonna wait for it to come back up and when it started coming back up you can see that um, the chart started going up just like now it's coming back up and we can hit it going up so I really like the stochastics over here especially if you if you have this you can you can you can hit it coming down or going up but as I mentioned before you see the stochastics uh, overbought here but it's just trending going high right now so since it's trending going high I'm just gonna keep uh, uh buying you know trading going up let's see what this candle will do it's moving good but it's not moving as fast as I would like now if it stays red if this stochastic comes up but this candle barely moves up I'll catch the stochastics coming back down so just keep an eye on it see the candles not moving that much the stochastics coming up when it comes back down I'm gonna get it If it comes back down, it looks like it's going back up all the way. Yeah, so I'm not messing with it. But if it would have started coming back down, I would have hit it there. You don't want to assume anything. Like I say, you pretty much just wait for the right entries. You saw I didn't enter there because I'm pretty much used to looking at these charts. So when this comes back up, I'll hit it. It's coming up. Hit it. And that was because we had a green candle. It was coming up strong. But I saw the stochastics was coming back down. So there's some resistance. But the candle wasn't. Like you see how it's coming down now? Yeah. I wouldn't try to trade it coming back up. Because I'm not sure. It's, it's coming down too fast. But earlier... Over here, it, it wasn't really coming down. It was just stuttering right here like this. So once it's, I knew once it started coming back up, that was going to come back up strong. So that's why I was letting the stochastic come down. And once it came back up, I did my buy trade and, and profited. Let's see what we can see. So it's pushing up nicely. We're going to wait for it to retract. Uh, it should have been in there. But you can see here. Okay, when it comes back up, we'll get it. Let it come back up. If it comes back up, right? If it doesn't, leave it alone. Nope, we're not going to mess with it. Let me see how we how we've been doing. And not too bad. I mean I missed some uh broke even on this one here. Barely. You know, it was going in the right direction, but uh yeah. But you know, we're we're doing all right. I haven't been counting how many I've been I've been winning or losing, but um But you get you get what I'm saying. If I'm not talking and I'm just focused on the trading doing my thing I do a lot better and again I'm taking a lot more entries than I normally would only because I'm trying to explain stuff so when you're doing this be patient and just you know whatever you feel is the right moment you know use that now see uh, uh super trend said higher but I didn't hit it because it wasn't like strong you know if this one comes down strong and hits me with the super trend lower then then I'll go ahead and hit it and and feel pretty good about getting it because like i say once it reaches the um oversold or overbought it normally comes up bounces and comes back up like right here bounce come back up didn't come back up it's all right though we're gonna catch it here
almost came back down on this again. But you get what I'm saying. It was a green candle. I felt it, it came back up strong, started retracting a little bit. So when you see the stochastics down here, it'll come back up. Not always, but like I say, if it comes back up, just hit it and, and, and you'll get it. <clears throat> so we haven't had these strong candles like we did earlier. These nice solid ones right here. Let's see if we can maybe go to another chart or something. But I will say this chart has been moving nicely. It'll go in, you know, it, it'll, it'll form a green candle and go up nicely. Retract a little bit and come up. Or it'll do this right here. And, um, yeah, nice. But you see what I mean? It, it came down. It'll retract a little bit and then start pushing down some more. You don't want no chart that comes down and then jumps back up. You know, because you'll get spiked out a lot. Like, it's very unpredictable. So, if your chart is just jumping up and down too much and not moving smoothly like this one is, then, then, then you know, go ahead and American Express works out for me quite a bit. But, you see, these candles are kind of small. So, that's, I mean, you could trade those two. But, um, I like the longer candles. It's more of a not guaranteed but it's more likely that it'll keep pushing the small ones it's a different way of uh, uh trading but the smaller candles as long as it's not moving really fast like it is here you can use the stochastics over here on the line chart and really really uh, uh make some profit because it'll move nicely for you but the stochastics over here really help you out um this will probably not be my only video talking about this strategy. I'll probably post this and watch it myself. Take some questions. I know I, you know, there was no method to the madness. Um, I pretty much just got in here and started talking. Uh, I need to, um, I guess, sit down and actually practice giving this lesson or whatever. But it's not much of a lesson. You know, these, these indicators, there is no magic indicator that tells you when this lines up and this lines up, this is going to happen. The chart's going to do what it wants, especially the OTC market. I'm just trying to get you used to getting into the demo account and pretty much um, getting used to how the chart moves. Here we go. Boom. Boom. 